So I am relatively a knife guy. Uh, this is a Gerber Sumo. It has a knockoff access lock. I don't remember what Gerber calls this, but it opens and closes like a dream. This is a knife that I take on our outdoor trips and I go do things like that a lot. This is a thick knife, so you can kind of beat on it a little bit. It's pretty forgiving for things like that. And then to pair with that, this is my favorite knife. This is a Civivi Elementum, purpled out scales. My favorite color is purple. And the reason for that is it's my wife's favorite color. And so, you know, these trips take me all over the state and I have to travel and be away from her for, you know, different amounts of time. With this, I always have a little bit of her with me, even if I'm just in the office and I pull my knife out and I kind of play with it a little bit. Reminds me of Lindsay. Next thing on the list is gonna be wallet. Um, everyone should be carrying a wallet. Everybody knows that. I've had a few different iterations that I've gone through for the longest time. I just use this. It is a Chums wallet. Um, it's worked well, especially for what I do going up to all these parks. Uh, any purchase, I need to keep a receipt. And so having this back pocket that I can just fill up with receipts from the trips has been phenomenal. A lot of trips I will take this just as my work wallet and I'll put you know our business cards in it uh, keep all the receipts all in one area recently um, I got a MagSafe wallet I got this as a gift it's super super cool my only problem is it's very minimal right like that chums wallet is super minimal as well but it holds a lot more just because those pockets are so deep this ESR wallet one card an ID in this slot here and then right here you have a pocket that you can fit two cards in what I've experienced is once you put two cards in one card will fall out then you have this outside slot now it's super cool it sticks magnetically to my phone the magnet is super strong it it doesn't fall off right but it doesn't hold quite enough for the life I live. At the moment, the best thing that I have found is this gigantic notebook wallet. Holds all of my cards, has plenty of room for more cards. We have two business transaction cards that we have. There is a pocket in here for cash. There's also a big pocket back here behind all the cards. That's where I keep receipts when we go on trips. Keep a little Pocket Notebook, this is one by Log and Jotter. It's good for everything from tracking Pokemon cards, right? To what kind of videos do I wanna make? Make sure that I'm having fun. Um, all of these different video ideas. I mean, I did a little sketch of kind of the layout of our house, right? To figure out which room was gonna be the biggest. And it's also really good for dropping subtle hints. Next on the list is going to be my little keychain flashlight. This is fantastic i love having a little flashlight like this not overly powerful little light right there boom bump it up hits a lot more just for you know looking for things being able to figure things out looking under my desk i'm lighting up the underside from across the room this has helped me in a pinch on a camping trip where someone didn't bring a headlamp hey i want to run to the bathroom you can take my headlamp now I still have this. It just exists on my car keys, my GoPro. This is a Hero 9. It has been tremendous. It is not without its issues. It has poor performance in low lighting. It is not the best in the cold. This is what the bulk of my videos are shot on. This thing is rock solid. I love this thing. It was a graduation present from my mom. When I graduated undergrad, I immediately put screen protectors, both that and on the lens and on the screen. And I'm glad I did because the day after I got it, I was messing around and it snowed up here. I was trying to get cool shot, broke it and cracked the screen protector. The only other major modification I did, I replaced the little wings, fingers, toes, whatever these are. Uh, they're the same mount as they always were but there's an upgrade out there that has a quarter 20 mount, and so I can mount it to any piece of film gear. This is the Osprey Daylight Plus. Um, I love this thing. It is the perfect day pack. It is the perfect commuter pack. It is the perfect backpack for me and what I do. I don't tote around a ton of stuff, but this can handle it. This is my go-to pack. It holds everything I need. 
stretchy water bottle pockets for those larger Nalgene's. Water bladder reservoir right here. It has a tiny whistle and a chest clip and it came with the tiniest, crappiest little waist clip. But for just going in and out of the office, loading it up for a day hike, things along those lines, I love this thing. I just wish I had a purple one now and they make a Smokey the Bear edition that I think would be super dope to have. This is one of my most prized possessions. This is the watch that I have worn every single day for two years next week on Monday. This is a Sun 2 Core. It does so many things. It is obviously a watch. It also is a altimeter and barometer, so it tells me how high in the air I am and how deep below sea level I am. It has a compass built in, which I never really use, but it is so cool as a professional outdoorsman to have that strapped on my wrist. The most useful non-regular watch thing it has is a thermometer. I have used that thing way more than I thought I would. You know, different campouts, um, I take this off and I just kind of set it off to the side for 15 minutes in the morning and get a reading on just how cold it is. This was a wedding gift. This was a gift from my father-in-law and I wear it as much as I wear my wedding ring. I wear it every single day. And then the final thing on the list that I can, you know, send goofy things to my wife and tell her very mundane things and have balloons pop up. And I think it's so fun and exciting. And the cameras on this are tremendous. Even the selfie cam, right? 4K 30 with the selfie cam. You can frame your shot in 4K 30, which was the biggest reason I wanted to get this. My only critique, I wish it was USB-C. This is the one thing that makes me bring a second cable. 